Welcome to Athens, Georgia, Sanford Stadium, home to the Georgia Bulldogs, where more than 90,000 have already started to bark loudly. What we have in store for you today, a clash between a couple of SEC teams that could have season-long ramifications. As we'll see a team fresh and ready to go off of bye week, the Mississippi State Bulldogs taking on the sixth-ranked team in the land, the Georgia Bulldogs. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. Georgia about to kick it off to get us underway. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So Mississippi State's offense will take the first swing of the game. And there he is, the man, David, that they build this entire attack around. And it's so nice to have a guy that makes everything easy for the people around him. The quarterback plays better because the feature is clear who that is. And we all hold our breath every time this guy touches the football. He's able to take it the distance on any given play. They feed him again. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Listen to this crowd just shaking the girders of this place, trying to help their defense. Coming after it. He's going to take off. And couldn't quite find the crevice he needed to pick up the first down. So Mississippi State will have to punt this one away. Three and out, and just like that, they'll have to give it up. On the return, it's Lovett. He was able to get that ball up to the 48-yard line before he stopped on the return. The Bulldogs offense will try to get something going with their first possession. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Touchdown, dogs! And they break the seal on the scoring. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Lining up to add another. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the scoring play comes on a touchdown pass from 22 yards out. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Here comes the Bulldog offense back onto the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. At the 45 on his way. They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. The defense pounced on that, and now they're headed the other way. And that is exactly how you draw it up. You get to the quarterback, but you get the football. You hit him, you try to rake it out. Great job by the defense. Get the sack, get in the fumble. Ready to get another. 
another look at this Bulldog offense. And David, how they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels, and you... And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs! He does a really nice job getting the snap, getting the ball to his wide receiver in stride so he continue to run full speed and make all those yards after the catch and get all the way to the end zone. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? A bit of an under-the-radar game this week, guys, but take a look at this. North Carolina is in front. They've led for most of the way. However, Ramsey's isn't exactly putting this one in the win column just yet. They're up by seven over Georgia Tech. For now, it's back to you, fellas. But, of course, if anything changes, we'll see it right here. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Mississippi State going up tempo. Back to throw. It's shaping. Got his man. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Now they'll really try to get this drive going. Good execution on third down as they have it first and 10 at the 31. Right back to the well. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. Quarterback on the keeper. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Touch pass on the jet sweep. They thought they could just run it on third and short, but this defense was there to make the stop. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Mississippi State will roll out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Looking for a block. It's Lovett. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. Let's see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Pocket starts to collapse. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. Georgia lining up to punt it away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Secures it at the 30. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. Here comes the Mississippi State offense, ready to attack. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you've got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. Feeling some heat. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. And those are so frustrating when you're a defense and you swarm to the football and you stick the quarterback and you make him cough it up just to have the other team recover it again and you don't get it. Still a good stick, still a good physical play. Keep it in that quarterback. So Mississippi State will have to punt this one away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. On the move, it's Lovett. 
working his way on the return up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. Wants to throw on first down. Pressure coming. He'll try to do it himself. Short gain on the play before he slides. They'll line up for a second down play. Movement here from the tight end. The play action fake. And here's a fumble way behind the line. And the defense has it there going the other way. Look at the big fella roll. Touchdown Bulldogs. Not content to get the fumble. They scored with the fumble. And the defense comes with the blitz. Nice job getting to the quarterback. And don't just get there. Try to strip that football out. They get the QB to the ground. The ball's out. They scoop it up. Take it all the way back to the house for six. The AT unit on the field. And after the extra point, they cut the lead in half, down 14-7. They're lining up to kick it away, and that defense salivating after getting the scoop and score. He'll start the return inside his five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. Dropping back, it's back. Looking deep. Got it in stride inside the 20. Just making a huge play, and he sets him up all the way down at the 14. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his way. Explosive plays are great, but you got to finish the deal. First and 10 in the red zone. Give to the running back. Got enough space. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia. That was a lightning fast drive that ends with a touchdown. If you can string a few more drives like that together, man, we might as well get our popcorn out because we're going to get a lot of scoring. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. What a display of explosive capabilities on that drive. 75 yards, two plays, and a touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Mississippi State offense headed back to the field to go to work. Last time, David, it was one, two, three kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. They give it to him again. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop it. Mississippi State right back to the line. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. The punt team makes its way onto the field. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Running it back, it's Lovett. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. They'll snap it from the 37 for the first play of this drive. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Just a solid stop by this sophomore after picking up a couple at second and eight. To the air, it's back. He's got his man. They'll get it to the 48. No need to measure it to first down. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. And first down for the offense. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. 
They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Leaves it with the back. Runs through the tackle. And he didn't have a whole lot of operating room after the juke. Not much room to run. As they get set to snap it, time winding down here in the quarter. They're trying to get to it. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. And the dogs are rolling down the field. Well, guys, it's Georgia holding the lead at the end of the quarter. Really strong performance so far to be able to build a lead here in the first period as we look at the stats. This could be a pivotal moment in this game as we open the second period and they try to find a way to answer. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal game. Got three on first down at second and seven. Looking for a crease, it's ETN. Able to squeeze out a couple on the play, it's down at the 35. This will be the seventh play of the drive and they need to convert third and six. From the gun, wants to pass. Trying to get to him. That quarterback was doing his best. Houdini escaping in the backfield, but the defense finally gets to him. And they've been waiting for something good to happen with respect to getting after the quarterback, right? They're outside of the top 100 in the country in sacks per game, but finally now, you see they're generating this pass rush. Three sacks on the game so far. Georgia sent out the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And no shot at a return here as the punt flies out of bounds. Here comes the Bulldog offense back onto the field. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there, you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. And the Bulldogs moving quickly to the line. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. Wow, this offense is just stuck in the mud. They've already punted four times, and it's third down now. They're bringing heat. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Well, that's their third sack of the game, and we knew statistically coming into this game, this is one of the top 25 units in the nation getting after the quarterback. I just love how athletic they are up front, and they are giving this offensive line headaches and nightmares up to this point of the game. Mississippi State will roll out the punt unit. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yard to keep good on the punt return. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen. Yet. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Coming after it. Gonna try to get it himself. At midfield, he's got room. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. Looking to move it through the air. Caught behind the line. It's ETN. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. Second down. He's going to pass on second down. Finds his big tight end. 
and he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yard. They really performed at an elite level in conference play, and that'll build your confidence as we continue through this SEC season. This was a team that was really motivated in the offseason coming into this one, and they knew the challenge ahead of them, but they also know how talented they are. And, David, they're putting that on display each and every week here in SEC play. And let's pump the brakes because if they're, if they're happy with what they've done so far, they're going to have some losses. Like, this is a tough league. The SEC is not easy to navigate. They're going to have to continue to grow and get better, but it's a heck of a start. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. They'll play it safe and try for three. Absolutely perfect. And that league grows even bigger. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg, 50-plus, and he did it with ease. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. And he's coming out of the end zone. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Here comes the Mississippi State offense, ready to attack. From the gun, the running back, looking for room. Danced his way through traffic, pick up a four to the 19. After giving up that score, now it's incumbent on this offense to kind of get a back and forth going, Jesse, in this game. They got to put some points on the board here. There's obviously a lot of football to go, so it's not necessarily panic time just yet, but I'm getting the ball into the hands of my best playmakers on this drive. I, I hear you, Jesse, but not panic time. Have you seen my defense? I, I mean, I'm not trusting him to get a lot of stops, so he puts a lot of pressure on this offense. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. What a great job by this defense, setting the tone early. In the first half, they've been hitting the quarterback early and often. Make him feel uncomfortable. Make him feel that pressure. Keep getting them on the ground. That's why they've built a the lead. So Mississippi State will have to punt this one away. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. He gets a block. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. You want to talk about having a weapon to bail out a drive? David, that's why kickers are so important after that long field goal. Yeah, and listen, important is a relative term. We need to make longer passes and get better gains so we don't have to kick long field goals, Palmer, again on offense. And they've got the weapons to do that, David. They just got to be able to dial those plays up. Guys have to be able to make them one on one to make life easier on this kicker, who is so important to this team. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Aga trying to make this red zone trip pay off. Trying to cap this drive with a pass. Got it in the middle, it's Thomas. That completion will take them inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Hand off from the gun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Scanning the field, it's back. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with a first down. The offense threatening. Close to the end zone now with a new set of downs. Trying to bully their way in. Touchdown, dogs! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. No midseason concentration laps here in week seven as they push out that lead. You know, this guy's had a big role in this offense this year, especially when they get down close to the end zone. That's his fifth rushing touchdown on the year. He's been a factor for these guys offensively. On to attempt the try. The kicker is on for the extra point. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. 
And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Guys, let's get you up to speed on what's going down in this fun college football game today. UMass needs to pick up the pace, but this puppy is far from over. And with that crowd there and Amherst behind them, I'm kind of banking on a comeback. On the ground, it's Booth. They're trailing by just four to Missouri. We are the eyes and ears of the college football fan, and we've got you covered all day here in studio, guys. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there, and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. The defense going to stop the clock with the timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. A strike downfield. Touchdown, Mississippi State. Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, they're down 31-14. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish with a huge play in the passing game, covering 75 yards to Housing. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. He's going to pass. Got a man. It's ETN. Nice patience by the quarterback here working against zone coverage. He was allowing his receiver an opportunity to find that open space in the defense before pulling the trigger. Found a bunch of room and got it to the 44-yard line. A big game there as they did a tremendous job working the middle of the field. Yeah, and if you're going to complete that throw, Reese, quarterbacks have got to play with anticipation. You've got to get it out of your hands early and give your receiver an opportunity before the defense gets to the ball. Couldn't make the connection on first down. Now here on second. Wants to throw. It's back. Dumps it to the back. He's got it. At the 20, he's got space. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. The Bulldogs have it with a first and ten. From the red zone, looking for a man. That's caught. It's Thomas. And you see so many smart wide receivers, so many smart tight ends nowadays that they know where the holes in those zones are. And they work with their quarterback, and they find them, and they sit down in them and make big plays. It's tough to sit back in zone against such smart players nowadays. Catch in the middle. It's Lovett. They get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score. This offense has been a juggernaut, and they have a chance to pad their total just before halftime. He finds his man. He's down at the one, and they almost had the touchdown pass on that one. I'll try to power it in. Touchdown, Bulldogs! And they take it in for six more points. Well, this offense has been physical. They came out of this game with a lot of pride and the ability up front and the belief that they can block people and get it done. They are dominating this defense. Three rushing touchdowns now in the game. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. You get that touchdown right before the half, build the momentum, and the last thing you need to do is mess it up by allowing a big kickoff return. 
on the move from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And they don't want to risk a turnover here, so they'll just take the knee and head to the locker room. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Guys, time for everyone inside that stadium in Athens to take a deep breath and kind of digest what we just saw. And it's been a clinic in fundamental defensive football. Both teams have been relentless and ball hawking, refusing to give an inch. This is the kind of slugfest that real football fans love. Crushing tackles and dudes flying into gaps and passing lanes. A testament to the discipline both of these teams have shown. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas between the hedges for Stadium. Mississippi State will put a foot to it to crank up the second half. Looking for block. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect him. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out everybody right now. In the... He's going to throw deep right side. He holds it in and nobody's close. There he goes down the right side. Touchdown, Georgia! And the route is on. And QBs love their big tight ends, especially guys that can do such great things after the catch. He catches it. Dang, Palmer, he looks like a bag of receiver after he catches the football. What a matchup nightmare, too, man. I mean, he's just too big for DBs to cover, and he's too fast for linebackers to cover. If I'm this QB, I'm looking that guy's way a lot more often than this one. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. On the run from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Mississippi State offense headed back to the field to go to work. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. Getting behind those pads and behind a stiff arm to get it out to the 27. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Facing a third down is short from the 26. Looking for a man. It's Shapen. Fires to the right. He's got it. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And the play will stand after the replay booth just does a little double-checking to make sure. From the gun. Give on the inside. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. The give on the inside. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. They'll come to the line at the 42, facing a third and long. He lobs one high down the left side. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the take, but couldn't reel it in. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Fair catch called for and made. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. That may not look like a huge run, but they'll take it as it gets them up to the 24. That kind of pickup on first down, and you can take a shot here on second and short. Moves up to the 34-yard line, give him a 10-yard pickup. They've got a first and 10 at the 34. Looking for a gap. It's Etienne. 
every offense wants to be able to run the ball and be physical, especially on first down. And you want to create second and short, third and short, or just get first downs like that run right there. Still on his feet at the 45. And how much running room have they been able to find on the ground? Man, are they piling up some gaudy rushing stats. Georgia coming out with a fresh set of downs. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. And the quarterback is toast back at the 35. When it's a play action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. After the big first down sack for the D, it's second down. They go to the ground. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. They're close enough for a makeable field goal from the 26, but they'd love to convert this third and long. Trying to make magic on the scramble. They finally get him on the ground, but not before he rips off enough for a first down. Now inside the 20, first and 10 from the 18. Wide receiver shows motion. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go. Pressure all over the quarterback, and down he goes at the 24. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play. Big loss on the last play threatens to knock this drive off course. It's second and 16. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Off play action. Caught in the backfield. It's Lovett. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Pocket starts to collapse. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. And you can just see the excitement this defense has every play. They're almost wishing this quarterback drops back to throw because they know they're going to get home to him. That's the sixth time they've registered a sack. So they'll send out the Number field goal one. unit. And after putting an earlier field goal up, they'll try it again, this time a 45-yarder. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. And that'll add three more to a lead that is already way out of hand. Keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Here comes the Bulldog offense back onto the field. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter on him. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Got to be smart, patient, great vision. Uses all of that to get to the 29. Ball spotted at the 29. Here they come on third and short. Now on the option. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Mississippi State will roll out the punt unit. Bringing it back, it's Lovett. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. The give to the lone running back. 
a solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He'll do it himself. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. The line to gain here is the 43-yard line, and it's third down. Feeling some heat. And the quarterback bought a little time, but actually bought a lot of time, but not enough time. The defense gets to him. They got more sacks than a grocery store. Goodness gracious, time and time again, getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground, this defense having their way. Georgia lining up to punt it away. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. Catch is made at the 15. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. One final play before the end of the quarter. Off the play fake on first down. Pressure coming. And he can't pull the trigger, and that will be the final play of the third quarter. We wrap it up with a sack. Well, guys, it's Georgia holding the lead at the end of the quarter. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. So will the beatdown continue, or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. He's looking to throw. Gets rid of it. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. Third down coming up after that completion. Looking to throw for it. Fires to the big fella. And it's a first down. They'll mark it at the 44. Mississippi State to the line with a fresh set of downs. And that's a first down. They'll throw it on first down. Getting some heat. The quarterback bought as much time as he could, but the defense got to him and sacked him. Man, I've been there before as a quarterback. Sometimes you just wish the game would already be over, right? You've had nothing go your way all game long. You're trailing late. They're still getting sacks. And you just want to go back to the locker room. You want to get in the ice tub and start healing for next week. That offense having to deal with the last thing you want on first down, giving up a sack as they come up to the line on second down. Trying to make magic with his feet. Able to get just a few before sliding to avoid the hit. Some third down conversions tougher than others. This one, a long one on third down from the 43. They're trying to get to it. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. I think this quarterback now at this point is looking over the sideline saying, hey, can we just not throw it anymore? I mean, my guys, they can't block for me. I've got no chance back here. We need to just run the ball from this point out. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And it's incomplete, and this defense makes a fourth down stop. Great spot to start this drive for the offense. The run from the shotgun. Couldn't really get started there. Pick up of one to the 35. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The give to the back. Just enough room to gain a couple down to the 34. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Wide receiver now comes in motion. On the run, it's ETN. Really nice run. Rips off six on the play, but it brings up a fourth and two. 
And here comes the field goal unit. This kicker has already made a couple today. What a disappointment. No good. Well, they missed the field goal. That's about the only thing that hasn't gone their way in this one. Mississippi State, 14. Here comes the Mississippi State offense, ready to attack. These last couple of drives, Jesse, have been about the defense making clutch stand. I think for this offense, they can stay aggressive knowing that their defense is going to bail them out time and time again here. Yeah, and especially when you go for those fourth down situations, you do that a lot of times because you know your defense can make stands, make stops. They did on that last possession for you. Steps away to find some room. He'll pull it down and run. He was able to squirt free and pick up just a few on that one. Let's see what they do on third down. They'll try to get the first through the air. Under heavy pressure lets it fly. Couldn't quite haul it in. They almost had their first pick here late in the game. On fourth down, trying to keep the drive alive with the run here. Russell to the ground after picking up the first down. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Skips away from pressure. Trying to escape and get it himself. He's going to be able to pick up a few yards before the slide. And now on second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. Got away from trouble and got rid of it. He got his hands on it, but couldn't hold on to it. What a time that would have been for their first pick of the game. They turn to the passing game on third and short. Got him downfield. Just trucks through it. He gets it all the way down to the five-yard line. A terrific catch and run before he stops. And, Jesse, there's a huge mountain to climb here, but you might as well start with a chunk play. Well, you got to start somewhere, Reese. It's been tough going for this offense all game long. They find themselves in a hole, but I love the aggressive nature. Keep taking shots. Keep trying to claw your way back into this one. Mississippi State really efficient on offense right now. goes to the option he's dropped behind the line of scrimmage that'll be a loss of three defense rolls up keeping its own end on that last play now a second and long coming the run up the middle here looking for a path to the end zone dragged down at the six after a pickup of two after a drive this long a field goal would be a punch in the gut it's third and goal and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Mississippi State! The result of this game is going to sting for sure, but you've got to continue to build, you've got to improve, and you can take some positives out of this late hustle and build for next week. There's always positives, and coaches are always looking for those things that we did well. What did we do well so we can do more of it in the future? Finding some things here late that they did well. Ready to try the point the after. Is on for the extra point. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Central Michigan has the lead right now. Mount Pleasant has been jumping all week. But this game is hardly over. There is time left on that clock. They're up by seven over Ohio. We'll circle back if anything changes in this exciting college football matchup. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. He just broke the century mark. 100 yards on the ground, and he's been terrific all season, ranking in the top 10 in rushing. They move the tight end all over. Looks as if they didn't get it off in time. It'll be a delay of game. Delay of game. Delay of game. Offense. Offense. 
So frustrating to see an offense lose track of the play clock and pick up a penalty like that. They keep it on the ground. Clock is their friend. And he's got enough for the first down. It'll be at the 35. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. And uh, first down for the offense. From the gun, the running back has it. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. Big reason why his team has the lead right now late is because of his performance running the football. Well over 100 yards in this game. They knew that they were going to have to really put a lot of pressure on him. He'd have to shoulder the load, and he has delivered for his offense all game long. Takes the handoff. It's Etienne. At the 40, there he goes. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Pick up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. And a decent gain there before the defense makes the stop. Ball's at the 27. It's third and short. Can they avoid making that fourth down decision? They'll try to move the chains on the ground. He gets it past the sticks, and Georgia has a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. When you know you have a team out in class, the ability to play to that standard and finish with a blowout like this is really impressive. And it's almost like playing against yourself, right? You know you're better. You know you're going to win the football game. But how do I continue to still execute? This, this was so easy. Great execution. Uh, just beat down in every facet. I think as a player, you just love being in such great rhythm. And we saw that right from the get-go in this game. Offense just able to matriculate the ball down the field. Defense was not giving anything up. What a great game plan coming in. And this was just total domination. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.